Hello guys, you probably just caught our stream, but welcome to our podcast we're doing. It's called Nights at Night. Yep, there's your intro, buddy. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? You'll be asking some questions, we'll be answering them, and just maybe going over what happened in the... Yeah. Yeah. And pretty much what we do already, but just <laughs> recorded now. I guess we'll, we'll start with a question. Um... Favorite moment so far of the entire campaign? Is anybody? Mm, I'll go first. Oh, I already know. Right. I know one, of my, one of my favorite points in the campaign right, so one. far was like definitely the part when we rolled up to the gate and it was the whole <laughs> knife scene. I was like, I feel like for all of us, or maybe it felt like maybe for me, but definitely had to make like a split second decision that I don't think anybody was really. We anticipated it once we were there and they said what they were doing, but you know. He was kind of iffy, I felt like, for me on what to say and what to do there, so. Yeah, that, that caught me off guard. I was like, because I just, like, in my head, I'm, like, fully expecting you. There's like, quite a few things where I'm, like, fully expecting you guys just to, like, do. And then Johnny's just like, yeah, just hand it. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, like, short-circuiting. Just give the knife that makes you see a burning shit, you know. Just give it to some random guy. <laughs> what about you? What's your... Well, I've only been part of the one episode, but by far my favorite part today, we don't know that guy. That guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As soon as you yeah. said that when I was up there, I'm like, yeah, we fucked up. Yeah. And I was like, what guy? <laughs> that guy. I've seen him in my life. <laughs> Just trying That's to keep that truck from crashing off a cliff, but it was already so far. <laughs> we were so close. I'm so sure cool. you uh, didn't had nothing to do with breaking this guy out of prison. <laughs> nothing. Sees the fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who is that? Yeah. What's your uh, What's your thoughts, just in, in general? Oh well, God, it was, it was a good night. I was a little worried at start. I was like, oh boy, he's ain't making a good good image of himself, is he? <laughs> I think he proved himself a little in I combat. Was, I think it was fucking hilarious. You, at the beginning, you were doing like the almost a southern. Oh god, my switched. accent changed so many times and tonight. Then, <laughs> dude, the fucking. It was like thick Midwestern, like far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was so cool. doing a Lyndon Tristram. I wanted him to be Australian, but for the He's life starting. of me, I can't fucking do an Australian accent. I was like reminding myself in my head, I'm like, all right, Australian might, Australian might. How's it going, guys? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? It's just one of those things, like, when we're all talking, in my head, like before, I was like, oh yeah, I got the voice down. Then we're all talking. Oh god, I can't replicate like, the voice. Through, you're dude. like, this isn't the voice. Dude, and I don't know if it's like yeah. the same way for you guys, but like when somebody's do, like when you're doing an accent like that, I'm listening to you. As soon as you end, if you have to talk after them, yeah, sometimes you, it's hard not to like drag that into what yeah. you say. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Shit. Like, I think you like catch yourself halfway through something. You're like, oh, fuck, oh I, yeah, yeah. I switched <laughs> mid sentence so many times. Dude, I fucked it up the the first session. I was like, yeah, dude, Foxfield. Um, let's just have everybody in the town have like a southern accent. Now everybody in the campaign has a southern <laughs> accent. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh, man. Yeah, that's, that's something to work on. <laughs> for uh, me, at least. I, for the life of me, I just can't do an Australian accent. Australia might. Get on ya. You can right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a session two question. Is Benedict open to religion? Yeah. All right, moving on. God, that was deep. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all settle down. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was cool. You were like pressing it on him, you know, being like the paladin and shit. That was fucking. It's like the paladin job, man. You know, yeah. it's like he's got to press his faith and religion, and that's. I mean, it's Spread what. It, good word. They're about, you know, they embody that, and that'd be super weird, like a wizard paladin <laughs> start taking some sunglasses and paladin. Especially with the description of tier two. It's like or priest or something. Yeah. Cleric. Um This is a question for everybody. Do you guys like more combat sessions or more roleplay sessions better? I like natural flowing. Like I don't want the combat just to be forced into it just to have combat. Like the whole first I mean, episode. <laughs> I mean, there's a good like middle ground. Yeah, definitely, like, there's a good middle ground. But say today we had another combat experience. 
I, I'd say that that would probably be perfect, but it depends on the role play. I mean, you know. You, you're saying you want another combat? In this? Yeah, yeah. I fuck with combat. But I mean, it. Like Johnny said, it doesn't have to be forced, like, just so there's always, like, co- like five things of combat. I mean. And I think, to, personally, I thought today was perfect because there was yeah. a lot of setup because I'm new. There was a lot of awkward setup. <laughs> But then the combat at the end, you know, really pulled it together for the yeah. first session for me. So I thought today was good. Kind of gives you a little bit best of both worlds, you know. Yeah. yeah. Role playing and then the. I mean, have, I think having <laughs> uh, at least one combat in each session yeah. is good. Having a good like thirty minutes. Of Benedict sense. has at least one chance to die each episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's always like a. I never know, dude. Like going into sessions, like all right. Time wise, this is going to be here. This is going to be here. <coughs> the first what session I actually did, but um, like this session for example, totally didn't expect you guys to go into <laughs> talk to Pastivus and shit. I thought you guys were just going to be like, all right, let's go to bed with what we've learned. I'm Get glad they went in. I, no, I wanted my stuff. That was like man. first sesh D and D move is there. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and then after that, fucking the whole thing of. Yeah. <laughs> going to back to your place and then I'm like well they did break out uh, um, Ace so obviously they're going to find out Ace is gone <laughs> at the same time as <laughs> at the same time you guys went in and started fucking around with Pashman so I'm like no idea <laughs> right, in the morning mm, making some breakfast goose 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 <laughs> straight into dash. I almost it was just down. like, nah, bring him here. Like, we could talk here. He stood us up once. Like, he can come to us. And then that whole fucking thing just went south so fast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then, like, in reality, we don't owe this guy anything. Like, you know. <laughs> Bartram, what did he say? Me. Ace. <laughs> you <guys>? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Dude, I picture it in my head so vividly. <laughs> Just a head to poke it out. Look yeah. Oh, fuck. And then after all that, you, uh, Lyndon breaks you out and you go over to his um, camp and then all that shit. And that was after the break. And I was like, fuck, dude, it's, we're already almost hitting four hours for a while. <laughs> but, I was like, but I wanted this combat so bad. Sure. Go in his tent and there's nothing. This massive tent, nothing in there. Yeah. <laughs> a couple logs. Yeah, like a little bit of grass. It's like, oh. It's high guys. class living over here. Yeah, like, Calm. what's the point of this massive tent? <laughs> How does Caladan feel about Chad having the knife? Yeah, so that's like kind of a tricky thing, right? And that's kind of like what I've been thinking about uh, from our last session. Like, seeing like what how it's affecting him and what it's doing to him but then also you know realizing now he's like handling it on his own after seeing those images and knowing it cut not doesn't come from anything good like i trust him as his character you know like from now that i know who he is i trust him but who's to say what this thing is or so i trust him when he said last time he grabbed it he didn't get visions but like you know, I, we don't know what it is. Maybe there could be this thing in the dagger, so it's like... I we trust him having it, and I think he's okay to have it. But <laughs> it's only been two sessions, I mean. And that's how whack, and he couldn't sleep, so who's to say in a couple yeah, more we, sessions where that takes his yeah, sanity we, uh, level, you know? We didn't really get into it on this session. Yeah, what dagger? <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you see it at all? Yeah. Didn't, you, didn't you bring it out the session one time? Yeah, you tuned I it. I tuned it, but I was in my room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know what you guys are talking about. Well, it's because he's <laughs> being shady with it. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> so that's what I mean. So, so it's that's kind of how I feel about it, but also, like, my gut's telling me he's good right now. So that's uh, that's kind of where I'm at with that. Yeah. Uh, Makes sense. If not, you're getting the hammer. Find dude. out on that episode <laughs> how we kill him. <laughs> <laughs> how does Chad feel about Chad having the knife? Like, I haven't, like, thought about, like, what it would be like if I didn't have it, if that makes sense. Like, I had it since episode one. So it's just, I don't know, it's, it's hard kind of playing with that in mind of having it. Yeah, you, you've had about two hours of playtime of just being Chad. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
But it's I ten hours of fucking having the night. Are is it like uh? You're like uh, this is my burden to bear, like Frodo Baggins type shit. I think it's just like, well, I'm the one that's touched it. I kind of got used to it. I don't think anyone else should touch it, type of thing. Like just because it's stopping having me having visions with it doesn't mean that someone else isn't just going to have those instantly. And maybe they're even different visions. Well, what is uh, what does Chad make of the visions? That it's all going to go bad, and there's nothing we can do about it. Damn. So you think it's inevitable? Inevitable, yeah. That got dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was fun. We're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing we can do. Well, I'm not saying like in two days. Like, <laughs> if, like the end is like if it does come true, like we can't save the day. But I feel like at one point, at some point, like New Eats Cross will burn. I don't know. I feel like it oh, will. yeah, yeah. That's a little less dark. Yeah, it's not like oh, we, you know, we're all gonna gone. die. Let's just, just go to the bar. <laughs> like I feel like at some point, well, that's what we can do. The city will be ablaze. I think a, a conversation about this shit with Ace would be super interesting. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I mean, when he told you guys about the visions, what do you make of them? Well, I mean, I don't know. I was like, Kaladin's worried, obviously. I think it's pretty s- twisted shit, you know, to see, and then show up to somewhere resembling, <laughs> you know, like all of a like John would be like, yeah. oh yeah, shit, like this is it. I <laughs> so like this is the place on fire, you know. It's like I'm obviously concerned because I mean that doesn't just affect there, just because we saw, just because he saw fire in those images doesn't mean that's going to spread. You know, it could be world dis- something crazy happening. You know what I mean? Do you actually know what we're talking about? The dagger? With yeah. the visions and shit? Yeah, I, I, I saw that part. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, during, during, like, this session, I don't have any more questions. Um, <laughs> during this session, like, the, the whole Linden thing, I wanted to introduce Linden Tristram last session. If you guys remember the... Giants! Yeah, 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 that was them. That was green. Oh shit! Oh yeah. But you I guys were like, I thought. Nah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I was, was like, so all right. Close. I, like, I kind of want to fight some giants, but like we were on a mission, dude. It's like super I'm, important I'm, NPC. I'm, just I'm nah. Su- I'm surprised we never went to the church. Well, fuck. We finally got yeah. to the town after an hour and a half of traveling on dirt yeah. roads and <laughs> RPing just in a car. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now yeah, it's point A like, to point B. With get into the town you know that, that's one thing that I struggled with the most leading up to this session was like how am I going to introduce Lyndon there was a couple of ways that I was thinking about introducing you but then I just stumbled upon that and I was like fuck yeah get well, luckily, right away Ace rolled a 5 and we all got caught and <laughs> Lyndon can come to the rescue <laughs> <laughs> somebody owed you a favor not really though <laughs> yeah that was like, a weird scenario too because like I feel like normally you guys would not trust like Lyndon some dude Yo, hop on this horse with me. Come over to my camp with all my yeah, boys. No. Yeah, we really didn't really have a choice. I mean, yeah, I, I was thought expecting about, to like, spend the night in the cell. So when well, somebody's yeah. like, I was, I was "Follow me," the cell. I'm like, "All right." Point say I'm looking less. at my gold too and all of ours. I'm like, "Okay, well, this is going to cripple me financially." <laughs> <laughs> I am financially ruined. <laughs> when we Just letting like, you know, this isn't a personal decision. This is a financial decision. Yeah. To leave this place. <laughs> Dude, ever like there was right after the break. The whole spiel went down with them capturing Ace, bringing him, and then you guys were, like, shackled. And it was, like, that was, like, a turning <coughs> point. And for the next, like, 20 minutes, every time I'd, like, look at you guys, like, in the cells, looking at anybody for some RP or anything, all of you guys looked like fucking little kids who were, like, put on fucking time. Time out. out. Yeah. <laughs> You're just, like, I was deer in a headlight. I was like, well, <laughs> shit. You know, I feel like Ace maybe would just, you know, I'm leaving. But you know, you gotta, you gotta, gotta get a tune of the group. I was like, like oh god, I, I got no idea. I want to fight people. <laughs> like you literally want to like walk in like on like. You the cats a lightning bolt. <laughs> like you literally like, walk in on a kid who's like has a toy he's not supposed to. You catch him, dude, and he's just like. <laughs> I was like, what? The fuck? I really want to know what would have happened if Ace would have so got funny. away. Mm. <laughs> he definitely Barsham would have been pissed. Yeah, what would happen to you three? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it also turns out he likes us too, so. 
Mm. Yeah, what, what do you guys make of like Lyndon and all everything? He spilled the beans. Lindor Shuffle? I think he's I a like him. <laughs> okay. Well, dude, he's like everything I'm about, man. So I'm like, you know, I'm already giving him the fucking handshake. I mean, we're homies. Now. I don't know. Like, he whipped out that like massive like crossbow. I'm like, I like this guy. <laughs> he's cool. <laughs> you're like, you're like Lyndon, and then you said his last name, and I couldn't find my fucking, I couldn't find my pencil. And I was just like trying to write it down. And I was like, Lynn, Lindor, Linden, Lindor. It's like Linden something. <laughs> I had it written down as Lindum for the longest time. And then it was like, no, oh, it's Linden. And I was like, oh. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was talking kind of fast there. Are you guys <laughs> catching up on the notes? No. <laughs> no, no notes taken. I tried to have thorough notes. I did not succeed. Yeah, you were writing down a lot. Well, it's just kind of cool. I well, someone's got to. It. <laughs> it ain't going to be me. Kind of cool just to keep track of things, I think. I got a lot of the characters and like, just a short, like, description or something. Next one. Yeah, I got nothing. Dude, it's crazy how, like, I think this session was my favorite. I did, like, uh, session number two just because of how, like, smooth it felt. Like, going along the, um, the cart ride. I have to sneeze. <laughs> But, um, mm-hmm. like, that was the smoothest, but, like, I think this session was my favorite because there was just so many moments that were, like, funny and... That whole house scene could easily be animated and been hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> just barging. I'm on dick shit. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's, like, a lot of things as the sessions go on where it's just, like, nothing in my notes, you know? Going off the beaten path, everything from scratch, like... I thought I had you in zone of truth, man, and then you hit the fucking, <laughs> hit the winner reverse on them. That's not your business. I'm like, See my first okay. rodeo, pal. <laughs> it did right, look man. like it stumped you, though, for a second there. Yeah, I did. You're like, I saw it, looked over at you, and you're like, mm. I'm like seeing all you guys talk, and I'm like, so how do I go around that? <laughs> I'm like thinking of nine things I could say. I'm like, no, nope, nothing's working. All I hear is, well, that's not your information. Dude, yeah. Because <laughs> after you ask that, just... All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, well, this is not gonna work out. Good. It's almost like it's got to be like yes or no questions, like very deliberate answers. Well, right, but that's what I mean. I'm running like ten of them. <laughs> that would be anything <clears throat> I would want to know that would contribute to stuff we're doing. That yeah, I would just pretty much came out to that same outcome. <laughs> it was all way too important to just <laughs> there <Shut> you go. <laughs> <laughs> so like, are you bad or not, guy? <laughs> Zone of truth, and then the fucking charm person. <laughs> like, I just wanted my stuff back, man. <laughs> this poor guy. Well, the thing was, is I knew where when you said he knows. Did you say he knows that he's been charmed? Yeah. Or he knows who charmed him? I guess I'm not sure kind of on that one. Well, I mean, you did come I and take your stuff. I think it would be pretty so. obvious. Because I, <laughs> I thought at that point, it was like, okay. He obviously knew it was our crew that did that. I was that random human. What are you talking about? <laughs> we were all there. As well. I don't. Uh, I don't think in either of the spells it tells that specifically. Unless you fail or something. Yeah, it gets kind of weird. But I mean, after the effects wear off, then he'll know. You know. So that's why, like, the next morning, I just imagine you know, he comes to. You guys were just asking all these questions, coming into his house, and like. So Joe. And then also the fucking. <laughs> Um, Shitting in his toilet. And Ace is gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God. Dude, that was fucking hilarious. You go over by the bathroom and then you like come out and he's like, alright, can we leave now? And you're just like... <laughs> I'm like, you need to go number two? <laughs> <laughs> when we leave and Kaladin slaps him on the back. Because <laughs> I thought they were just going to leave. So I was just stalling. Like, as much as I can, I was like, okay, well, Josh is in the basement now, and he's trying to get this rando out. I'm like, I gotta stall. (laughs) And I was like, bathroom sick. And then I'm like, okay, so, like, that's all I got. (laughs) I couldn't think of it fast enough, man. So fucked, dude. (laughs) It's like, right from the get-go. Yeah, here's Ace. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable. All of us. So anyways, I just... (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I just started leave? shitting. <laughs> There's so many ways that, that all that shit could have gone. Like, especially every time you guys, like, deal with Bartram, I'm like, this could go fucking a million different ways. 
and it never goes a place that I imagined. <laughs> All of you, it's like imagine like you guys like um, waking up in the morning and then like making some fish. You're like, yeah, what should we do today? And then it like freeze frames and goes straight to all four of you guys getting locked in a cell. <laughs> You're just like. <laughs> Like, where do we go from here? <laughs> yeah. That's I was looking at all my spells like, yeah, I got nothing. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> I was, I really was like, let's just pick the lock and get out of here. But I was like, I don't want to try, cause more trouble. Because I didn't know if that would you be a good angle to lock. go. <laughs> you would have picked straight from one cell to another. You would have yeah. picked the lock and caused too much noise and failed the spell. <laughs> yeah, I would have failed this check. <laughs> You're sitting there fumbling around with it. <laughs> Literally the rogue, dude. <laughs> a five on stealth. I only get a plus two on stealth. Ooh, that's crazy. Who the fuck built your character? Oh, that's not what I'm going for. I, I'm the I'm the sleight of hand guy. I'm the guy who's gonna take all your money. <laughs> I was thinking about seeing if I could do like some sort of performance in there. Dude, I, I didn't even realize it. I was like, yeah, you can play the guard. And then Sam's like, dude, can't you just like pull up and give it money? And I'm like, oh, I said it's shit. <laughs> they found a loophole. <laughs> Fuck! Government man! <laughs> yeah, he pulls out a go. fucking wagon of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Josh snaps his fingers. Get you guys come in with a chest of gold. Here's, the, here's everything the green cloaks own. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, and then me noticing you cheating. You noticing oh. me cheating. <laughs> <laughs> How the two, how you two were talking to each other was perfect, dude. It was, it was great. <laughs> The uh, <laughs> yeah, nothing like, to the story, rolled, but it was so needed. <laughs> I was like, he's gonna try and cheat here, and then uh, um, I like rolled sleight of hand, natural four. <laughs> and then uh, you were like, all right, I'm gonna switch a card too. I roll for perception, natural twenty. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that also reminds me in the fucking whole past of this encounter. Like every time I rolled, like perception to see if Johnny could hide in the closet, like saves against. <laughs> Your guys' spells, um, like picking up on any hints or anything, just natural four, natural two, natural six. Yeah, you keep that die. <laughs> <laughs> keep rolling that one. Well, you gotta it's finally so even out eventually after all your high rolls. Dude, we never hit nat 20s on the important shit. No. In, no. in combat, you guys always hit nat 20s, and the fucking thing you're attacking is at like six HP. Well, Josh <laughs> hit a nat 20, but then hit a four yeah, for that's damage. Unfortunate. <laughs> that's unfortunate. And it was at six HP. <laughs> no, yeah. but the, the, even the the Caladan thing he's like alright uh, yeah let's swing at this zombie I'm gonna give it everything I got I look down 8 HP I'm like you go get him Tiger <laughs> <laughs> right, I get halfway through my ability my you bonus. just explain him dying and I'm like I just keep rolling my damage I'm like no well, well, the spiritual weapon <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh dude that was sick though fucking mm. Oh, what was this club again? It was like a six foot long, it was yeah. wide, but it had studs going up at it. Yeah, that's that's cool. It's this thing flying around that's bigger than Josh. I was like, oh, I can use spiritual weapon. I'm like, and then Dude, I didn't talk to Shade what like his weapon looked like. I'm like, so perfect. You're gonna be like a new for me and <laughs> actually use something other than a one shot spell, you know? <laughs> the fucking uh, the fortress next to me. Yeah, I reduce it, bro. Yeah, I got it, dude. All right, read the spell. Yeah, he just gets smaller, dude. Alright. <laughs> so me watching Benedict he just like poof, it makes it smaller, throws up dust and he's gone. <laughs> Here I am, like obliterating this W just like like spits on it and gets smaller and goes like ka-chow. <laughs> and he's like out of there, you know? So I'm like, alright. Well, like, I'm not saying. small enough. <laughs> Knew that motherfucker was weird. 